So now let's talk about how we're going to name these compounds. All right. So we got a term for naming compounds. We just call it nomenclature. All right. So this is how uh, we're naming uh, these compounds. Okay. Now the reason why we have nomenclature is because early on um, in science and really in chemistry, especially um, anytime you got a new compound, people was just naming it any type of way, right? This is how we get names like quicklime or milk or magnesia or laughing gas, right? These are like chemical compounds, but there's no, there's no structure or there's no reason to why people are naming this this way, right? Um, in this case with laughing gas, it was just like more of an effect, you know, but it, it does different things besides that, okay? So what happened was a system was created to actually name compounds. Now, now it's easier, right, for anybody to look at a compound and know exactly what the chemical formula is or how it looks, okay, with this system. Because we got to understand, right, um, if I'm over here in America, somebody over there in India or Japan, right, we got to be able to communicate with each other, right? I can't be naming a compound I find uh, Dr. J's new compound, right? They're going to be like, what is Dr. J's new compound? I literally named the compound after myself, okay? There's no reason behind it. They need a structure. They need a system to understand, right, what type of compound is this? And this is the good thing about nomenclature. So this is something that you definitely want to pay attention to um, because if you don't understand the name of the compound, right, it will slow you down, okay? It, it, you don't even know what you're looking at, okay? So you definitely want to understand this nomenclature, okay, aspect. So, so now let's talk about binary compounds, okay? Specifically binary ionic compounds. So binary ionic compounds, right? So binary means that you are going to have two different elements, two different elements. In this case, you're going to have your cation, which is a metal, and your anion, which is the nonmetal. Okay, so these types of compounds only have one possible oxidation state. Okay, so when I say oxidation state, for now, just let's just think of oxidation state as a charge. Okay, so it only has one charge. That's how we're going to, re to refer to it. Okay, to keep things simple right now. So these binary compounds only have one possible charge. Okay. Now, when we actually go to actually name these, okay, you follow this rule. Your cation, so your metal, all right, will first, well, first is the first thing. Okay. So it's first. The cation is first. Okay. And because your cation is first, you keep the name of the element. That's going to stay the same. Your anion is second. And because it's second, all right, you got to change that element's name ending to I-D-E. So let's talk about an example we always see, right? Sodium chloride, right? N-A-C-L. So we know that this is sodium chloride, but why is it named sodium chloride? So sodium is a metal, Chlorine is a nonmetal. Okay, so we got our two elements right there. Okay, two different elements. We got a cation, bam, metal, anion, bam, nonmetal. Now let's talk about when we actually go to name it. Cations are first, so sodium will go first. And because sodium is first, we just keep it the same sodium. We don't change anything about it. Sodium. Bam. Now here's the second. The second, right, is chlorine. So what do we have to do with the chlorine being an anion? It's coming second. So we need to change the ending from chlorine to chloride. I-D-E. Odd, -E, I'd, okay? So now we have sodium chloride, okay? So we keep the cation the same. We change the ending for the anion, okay? And specifically, we change the ending to I-D-E. 
chloride. Let's look at one more ionic compound. So once again, uh, remember, ionic compounds are going to have cations and anions. So lithium is a metal, oxygen is a nonmetal. So right there, that's letting me know, okay, this is our ionic compound. We start off with our, what are we doing? Cation. Lithium. Anion is second. So oxygen, and we have to change our oxygen to IDE. So in this case, if you're changing oxygen, you change it to oxide. So together, this compound, we call this lithium, keeping that the same, oxide, changing the oxygen to IDE. All right, and this is what we're doing with every and any ionic compound, keeping that first cation the same, changing the ending of our anion. And if, I got two other examples real fast. Um, so MgBr2, right? Magnesium cation, bromide, right? Cation first, doesn't change. Bromine changes it to IDE because it's an anion. One more, calcium sulfide. Calcium is a cation, anion is sulfur, so we change that sulfur -er, to IDE, right? Sulfide, okay? So that's how we're changing it, okay? We're keeping the cation first, anion second, and the only thing you actually change is the ending of your anion to IDE.